<laughs> I have no plans, but I've been really down. I've been really, really, really down and really sad. So I've been trying to like do stuff that'll perk me up. Nothing's working. So I think I think I'm gonna go make some juice from my juicer and then I don't know, I'm gonna try to stream. Streaming's been fun, so maybe that's gonna help subconsciously. I don't know. Forgot to update you guys. I accidentally ordered my Instacart groceries to my mom's house in another state. So no groceries and no breakfast. You know those TikTok accounts that post like hope videos? Yeah, I found one. <laughs> About to eat something insane but i love strawberries and sugar this is so unhealthy especially with the amount of sugar i ingest with it this is how much sugar i'll put and it's still not enough any more i need there to be sugar on every molecule where it's not good enough like that's not enough like that's barely scratching the surface. Now don't go trying it. You don't gotta try everything you see me try. You can just watch me inhale it. All the sugar that's on my plate, gone from that one strawberry. So I obviously need much more. I feel like that's gonna work for me. Oh my gosh. This is not enough. I literally try to like scoop more up. I do stuff like this, but I used to get mad at how much butter my mom would put on stuff. To be fair, my mom used to put more than this amounts of butter on everything. I need to be in a room with these alone. <laughs> I needed to be left, a room with, left alone in a room in which there were no others to finish that strawberry. And it was amazing and delicious and impeccable. Everything I thought it would be. It was everything to me. I filmed a whole um, trying out my old makeup routine video for you guys and my camera was in slow-mo the whole time so I have like nothing from it but that's why I have on the lashes and stuff but I just can't. This feels so much better. Okay guys, here's the smoothie. Yeah, I had to put in the work for this bitch but it's gonna be good. It's blueberry. Strawberry, mango, and this much banana, cause I feel like bananas, once you put banana in a smoothie, it's a banana smoothie. Like it's always just so loud, and it's so much louder than everything else. Like you could put banana, it could be a pineapple mango smoothie, but you put too much banana, it's a banana smoothie. And I don't like bananas. Like I only put banana in there because I know it's good for you, but I hate bananas. Like if I could remove every banana from this planet somehow in the blink of an eye, I think I would do it. And I'd replace them with blueberries, cause that's the best fruit out. <laughs> my wig falling off my head. <laughs> well, I literally ate her up, like... What do you have to say for yourself, Stephanie? I don't know why I thought that I could be trying. I don't know why I... Not too much. This wig has definitely... Oh! <gasps> She's definitely been through a couple things, but we're gonna make it look kind of cute today. First up, we do need to tint this lace because it is superbly light. I love to use this. Oh my gosh, me in the mirror, bald as hell. I love to use this, the even tinted, can you focus? Even tinted lace spray. And just spray at a distance. Like, I don't want it to be too dark. 
I'll get on the hair because it's blonde. Like just like that, like light little focused sprays. So she can match me. You know what song I can't stop thinking of? Now you gay, yeah. Truth all day, yeah. Are you playing? I love that song. Like, I'm not playing, and I don't know about you today. Anyway, so I've tinted the lace. Up here could use a little more tinting. Just a little bit, just a touch more. It's still a little clear. Cover the... I hate when I get it on the hair, because I do most of the time. <laughs> yeah, see? And it just blends so much better, and it's so quick and fast. I'm actually gonna be trying out Eben's wig glue because they sent me this giant box of products a couple weeks ago, and I didn't even know that they made a lace glue. I just knew they had things like this, like lace adhesives and like lace bonds and lace melts, and I'm excited to try it because they also have a remover for their glue, so I'm like comfortable with the idea of it. I'm gonna take the glue. Oh, I need a popsicle stick. I'm gonna take my little popsy, and we're gonna do glue all around the perimeter. Make sure you get the corners. Those are the first to unstick. And no, I don't put, I don't glue down my cap anymore because um, I don't care. I am literally bald and I don't care about my, edge, my edges as is. Just kidding about the even glue because for some reason it's totally dried out and I've never used it before. So we're just gonna use bold hold. Cause that's what I use all the time. Oh, maybe mine just had like a defect or something. I don't know, but it's just totally dried out. So I'll just be using the bold hold active. This is what I use normally. And now you're gonna do what I was saying before, which is just dots of girl don't play with me the nozzle better just be stuck you're gonna do yo there's no way there's no way this is dried out wait i must be the problem what's happening why is this dried out too oh wait oh it's not it's not there was just glue stuck at the edge sorry ah! okay see like now you had to do the most to prove you weren't dried out and you ain't had to do all that do your dots you don't need to do dots that's just what i like to do just get your perimeter I like to do one good go around and do two coats. There's no reason why, just what I do. Then I'm just gonna blend it all in like it's some makeup. Just blend everything together. Don't get glue like this on your edges if you care about them. I do not because I hardly have edges to begin with. So I don't really care what gets on my edges. But if you care about your edges, you need to make sure you don't get your edges. Get glue on your edges because it will pull them out over time. I have no edges and I didn't before I cut my hair because I pull them out when I'm anxious. And in addition to that and wearing lace wigs, my edges were doomed. Now just let this dry clear and then we'll be back for coat two. Okay, so the first coat, coat? The first coat dried clear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue down, um, applying glue number two, layer number two. Just get that. Oh, I literally just put it right over the coat I put on before. Just let them sit on top of each other. You see how much glue is in my hair? Please don't do this if you care about your edges. Please don't. This will rip out your hair. If you're like me and you don't care, do it just like this. If you care, just protect your edges. It's really, it's not, it's not too hard to. Um, You can just do the ball cap method. I know that that does sometimes also pull out your hairline. So I would say just gel your hair back with gel instead of these products. And I feel like maybe you'll have a better chance with gel. I'm not sure. I've never really cared about my edges much after high school. So I really can't help you in that department. I'm so sorry. Okay, my ju- Excuse me? My glue is dry for the most part, but there are some parts that are still a little white. Um, to be real, I don't really care that much. So I'm just gonna put it down anyway. I'm gonna comb all the hair back because I want as much hair as I can avoid as possible not trapped in my glue. And I'm just gonna lay her right down, lay her right down. Make sure you get those side pieces. This wig is cut very strangely though, so it's gonna give me a micro forehead, which I'm not really into anymore. I used to do that a lot because when I first started wearing lace wigs, because I was really insecure about my forehead, um, I don't really care that much anymore. The older I've gotten, I've been like, well, Rihanna is literally gorgeous and we both got big foreheads and people think Rihanna, like, like people think, she, like me included, people think Rihanna is the prettiest person ever. So if she can be considered gorgeous and beautiful with that big forehead so the hell can i so um i don't really care <laughs> i really stopped caring and now if my forehead look a little big it might bother me a little but not really i think that i cut this wig when i wasn't there so the forehead is really tiny and i'm gonna see if maybe i can cut some of it back because i really don't need that tiny ass forehead and also i find when you cut it a little wonky like it tends to sit a little more natural on your head or at least it feels like it looks a little more natural i just kind of want it to look just a little more normal because the forehead is too tiny nothing's wrong with the tiny forehead either i know i saw something about people feeling insecure about tiny forehead any forehead is normal it's it's just a forehead <laughs> 
all of our foreheads are normal. All of them. Now I have to put my band on and I thought it was so interesting when I did this on TikTok and somebody was like, that's so smart to put the band on backwards instead of going like this and trying to find where the thing is. Yeah, ever since I realized that it was causing me that much effort to put on a band the other way, I just did it like this one day and I was like, wait, this is, this is so simple. <laughs> Leave this for as long as you can. I'm literally gonna go make breakfast, make something to eat and just waste time and come back and try to style this. Okay, it's been kind of a while, but I'm not, I'm still not taking my um, elastic band off. Okay, I forgot maintenance is coming. So I wanna do my hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Girl, oh, the hair, the hair is coming out. This wig is old though. So, I mean, what can you do about it? I'm gonna start from the bottom. Add it for the bottom now, we I used to be so obsessed with that song, it's not even funny. Yeah, I literally have this little itty bitty piece of hair and I'm gonna use the behind the zone, turn up the heat spray. This is the heat protectant I use. It literally won't focus. This is the heat protectant I use. And I can't remember the name of this, but you can see the product. <laughs> it makes it like silky. Okay, I've been straightening the hair. I didn't record it because I wanted to listen to music and y'all know how YouTube gets. So I turned the camera off and I'm almost done. I have no idea if the back is straight. I'm really hoping it is. Guys, please tell me the back is straight. If you don't, I'm gonna be really pissed about it. It looks so good. Wow. Wow. I actually can straighten hair. Like, this is something insane. Okay, I'm gonna finish the top and then I'll be back. Okay, taking off my band now. Ooh. I feel like my head can breathe again. Oh my gosh. Wait, is the hair straight though? I'm gonna be so pissed if it's not. I think it is though. It's kind of giving flow. And this wig is old, like, and this wig is old. She's old. Okay, I'm gonna try out the Eben Hair Sleek Stick. This one is peaches and I'm excited about that. And I don't even need it to be real because my, my lace feels really melted, but I wanna try their lace melt spray. So I'm gonna see if there's any parts that could use some fixing. Okay, let's see. But that looks good, I feel like. I feel like I look good. Okay, let's try a little bit of her. I don't know how, is it a push? Oh, yep, it is. It does smell like peaches. Oh my gosh, it really gives peach. Ooh, that smells good. I don't wanna eat it. Yum. Okay, I did this side and I'm gonna do this one. This really smells so good. I really wanna eat it. It smells delish, exquisite. Like the flyways are gone immediately. And then let's flat iron them bitches. Damn, around him. I love being bald. It really gives flat with the wigs. It really gives flat. It does. Whoa, I've never seen a wig be so flat until I was bald. <laughs> I just could never, I had so much hair. I could just never get a wig this flat ever. No matter what I did, I could never do it. I was never successful. Every time it would be bumpy some how she would have a bump. But being bald really just like, like nowhere to be found. I literally ate this up so bad, hold on. It's so silky. I'm praying the back is straight when I said that. But it feels like it's so silky. I wanna, tr maybe I can put some perm rods in it tonight and then we can have curls tomorrow. I don't even have plans tomorrow, but I don't know. Maybe I'll find something to do or find a reason to go outside. It's so cute. My little Barbie brush, I love it. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll do some perm rods tomorrow. Maybe I'll crimp it. I don't even know, I'm feeling so excited. It just looks so cute and pretty and gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna go lay down <laughs> until maintenance gets here. I don't even remember what I was gonna say. I was just gonna open my mouth and talk. I did do my makeup very different today. Mm. I was kind of just trying things out and I kind of like it, but I think I only like it with glasses on, so that I think that means I kind of don't like it because I've realized if I only like my face when I have on glasses, I don't like my face that much. And mm, it just doesn't look as cool to me like it does here. So, I don't know. My teeth look nice right now. Ooh, I literally just want to show you all the cool... Th I'm literally talking about nothing. Like, I'm just so hyper. I just got off the phone with um, my sister a while ago. I love my sister. It's so funny because when I was younger, or when I was like a teenager, we fought so much. We never got along and we just fought so much. And then I got older and I moved out. That is literally one of my best friends now. We're so close. It's cool. Like, that's cool. I never thought I would be so close to my my little sister because we have, we have such an age gap. But... I don't know, She it's like talking to my other friends. Like, there's a lot of boundaries because for one, she's younger than me, and then for two, she's my sister. So some stuff we just don't really talk about. 
but on top aside from that we have such a good friendship like we have such a good friendship we talk and we just laugh we don't really fight at all i don't think we fought at all really since i moved out actually not even really i don't think we have at all um we just get along really easy and they're visiting soon and i'm so excited oh my gosh okay bye you know what i don't know if i remembered to update you guys on when i first moved into my apartment i told you guys i had a bunch of wigs that i wanted to donate and i didn't know look at the back of my wig Ooh, I don't know what to do with because I didn't need them. So I was like, oh, I'll put them in a box and put them on a random street corner. So I did that and I made a video about it and I showed everyone the wig I put on the the box of wigs on a random street corner. And then I get a DM like two minutes after I post the video. And this girl goes, someone took the whole box. Like elite level greed. In the video, I'm literally saying, Please be responsible, like just take one or two, like it's a, it's a huge box full of wigs. And they take the whole box. They take the whole box. Someone said they pulled up, the whole box was gone. Another person said when they were pulling up, they saw someone taking the whole box. You're actually so greedy, it's not even funny. Like, I got something for you. Like, you're actually so greedy. What? Like, why didn't you at least take a lot of them and leave the box? Like, you're so greedy. But I saw someone tell me I should give them to Shirley. So, um, Miss Shirley on TikTok, I don't know if y'all know who that is. She works on like Skid Row and she helps a lot of the unhoused people over there. And I did, I ended up DMing her and she was like, oh yeah, sure. So I shipped the second box to her because there was two boxes. So I shipped the second box to her. So I ended up giving them to her and I wish I did that with both boxes because y'all look greedy as fuck. Okay, I'm gonna cut my hair and dye it pink because um, I'm bored. The patch. This is actually so funny. I called my mom and my sister laughing at it and I called my sister first and I was like, ha ha ha. My sister's like, ha ha ha. I called my mom and she was like, that's not funny. I said, ooh, <laughs> my fault sister, my fault. Like I giggled, but okay. First up, now don't laugh. I thought it made sense cause I hate hair on the flow. So found it on Debu last year. Like no Ooh. Now it did say it was for kids, but I mean, if it's like, <laughs> this is so smart. Let me get my clippers. Ooh. Let me get the clippers. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut my hair first or dye it. I would assume I cut it first and then dye it pink. These also are not clippers. I saw this girl on TikTok say, girls, buy ball trimmers, girls. It's really good to shave. And then I didn't do it. So we're just gonna use it. This is what I've been using to shave my head. <laughs> um, okay. Ow, did it electrocute me? Okay, I think I'm gonna cut my hair first and then dye it. I hope that's the right order. See, this is why I just chop away and just cut the scissors because this is taking too long already. I'm not doing it too fast. Okay, let me slow down, let me slow down. Okay, but this is eating. This is eating. Who finna clean up hair on the floor? Not me, sister. You, oh, oh, I turned it off. Y'all might be cleaning up hair on the floor, but not me. The path is sending me. Can't even see it, but I know it looks crazy. Is it giving? Is it giving balls? I'm about to get the scissors, y'all. It's taking too long. This is such an invention, though. Like, who came up with this? You need a Nobel Prize. Should I brush my hair first? Probably, right? Oh, well. It's too late now. Trying to do things properly. But I really am about to go get the scissors. Y'all know I like using the scissors. If you don't know that I like using the scissors, hi, I like using the scissors. Okay, y'all. Now, that did defeat the purpose of the... Hair umbrella. Wait, now I gotta put it back in the... Okay, like... This is eating. My hair is so thick, bro. Why does it take this long to shave two pieces of hair? There's so much hair in here. And it, I look no different. I can't wait till my sister visits. I'll let her do like cool designs in my hair. I don't know if you're supposed to put bleach right after something like this. Like, I feel like maybe my hairline is probably irritated. Like, should I have maybe colored it first? I feel like this is the best we're gonna get. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get my brush and brush my hair out. And then I'm gonna ask Twitter if I should bleach my hair right after shaving it. <laughs> now I know y'all hated this TikTok shop brush, but damn, I love it. I don't know why I'm brushing it up. I do not have weights, who cares? My hair's literally just going in my eye. That feels so good. <sighs> it's hair everywhere. 
It feels crazy. I feel crazy. Okay, so I asked Twitter if it's okay to bleach my hair right after cutting it and they said it's fine, but I low-key just got hit with like a wave of exhaustion. Um, so I kind of want to sit down, so I'll dye it pink tomorrow. Hey, I made my acai eat. Ooh. Yum and delicious. This is gonna be so good. I think I made too much paste though. I never know if I'm putting too much or too little of something. So I think I thought I was putting just enough and my acai is giving um, acai juice and not paste. So it is very liquidy, very wet. It's also way more acai than everything else, but you know what, it's gonna be good anyway. Okay, I'm doing my Duolingo right now. <sighs> it's whooping my ass. <clears throat> Let me put Ray down for a second. I was still watching Ray. So I'm doing the alphabet right now and it's getting me. I have my notepad here to take my notes, but I also have flashcards, but I don't want to use my flashcards for, well, actually, I guess I should use them for the alphabet. Let's see. Mm, looks like kind of a cursive H. That's, mm. oh, is one, two, three, nah. oh. mm -hmm. Sun, it's this one from my notes. It's this, din, din, din. and then mm, it's the cursive H. Yay! I'm gonna make a whole set of flashcards for just the alphabet, I think, because OMG. And that's how you do a lingo. Ow, that was my knee. Oh, you know what else I did? Is there a bruise, guys? There's a bruise. It's purple, isn't it? When I was mopping the floor, I was like mopping. I was, I was going hard. I'm mopping the floor and my arm goes bah, right into my door. I literally thought I broke a bone. It hurts so bad. Um, but there's no bruise or anything. It's so weird, but it's so tender. Like every time I touch it, it hurts. It's actually so freaky. I don't know what that's about, but it hurts. I have a meeting today and I wanna do my makeup for the meeting, but then I need to make this TikTok. I also need to tell my doctor, I've been having these really, I've, I have migraines all the time. Like I always have really bad migraines and it sucks because it's like every day at least one, but they're most freak, sorry, my hair's getting my nerves. They're most frequent at nighttime. Um, recently they've been a lot worse. So I wonder, like, I don't know what it is and it's freaking me out. So I'm gonna go talk to my doctor about it and let them know like, hey, um, baby, what does mean? And fix it. So, no, I'm kidding. Um, hopefully they could tell me something and let me know cause I'm a little nervous about it, a little nervy. Um, but oh, the creme shop sent me a bunch of stuff and they sent these little lip balms. Look, Hello Kitty, Cinnamon Roll and Kuromi. The Cinnamon Roll one smells cinnamon. This one's fruity. My nose is a little stocked up. I guess I would, I would just say fruity, like general fruity. I hope this smells like cake. Oh, it's gonna smell like strawberry probably. Yeah, this one's strawberry. I don't know why I thought cake. <laughs> it's literally Hello Kitty. Um, oh, also, sorry, I keep saying, um, I've been trying to stop doing that. It's just how I talk and I can't turn it off. I almost did it just now. Indeed Labs also sent their, I think their eye masks, but I'm gonna show you what I've been doing with all. Pop it on the smile line area. On the bottle, they say, I've tried it one other time, but I wasn't really monitoring whether it worked or not. So we'll see today. Oh, I don't think I could talk much. It feels like it's gonna slide off. They're kind of hard to get out of the little container, but I've got it. Oh my gosh, it seems like there's so many in here. That's such a... Oh. Who is at my door? You gotta go. Okay, and they say, when you take them off, rub the product in. So I'm gonna rub it under my eye, whatever's left over now. I'm gonna leave these here for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna see, okay? I think they said leave it for 10 minutes. Honestly, it's probably been like 20. Okay, they do just like flop right off. There's kind of no, they said to pat in or massage in the product, but it doesn't really feel like there's any, it feels pretty dry, so. I don't know if it's something that I like see over time or what, but we'll see. I'm gonna do my natural makeup look today. So I'm gonna use the Milk Feature Fluid in 17W and the Charlotte Tilbury Peach Blush. I don't remember which, Peach Pop. And just my one size and my Elf from my nose. I just put on the concealer, but a manager told me that the Creme Shop's pimple patches are like the best pimple patches. I have on these from Indeed right now. 
and they've kind of been working for me but i also want to try these and the creme shop sent me this huge box and they literally put some hello kitty i cannot get this open some hello kitty if i can get it open i would love to put them on so freaking cute are you kidding me i'm gonna put the little bow on and then i'm gonna put the little star on freaking adorable freaking adorable that's so cute okay i'm starting on my nerves here and then actually wait i need to put on my blush boom that's way too much okay oh wait it's actually fine oh my gosh i'm so shy i'm blushing i don't think i blush in real life i don't think i've ever blushed if i do i want to see it i want to see what i look like when i blush i'm probably literally adorable okay i'm gonna do my nose and be back or i guess i'll let you watch but you need to be quiet because i'm watching ray williams And just like that, simple ass makeup and I feel so cute. I'm literally adorable. I feel good today, I got good energy. I got some lip balms, my makeup looks cute. I'm about to go sit on my couch and watch MasterChef Junior. I'm gonna make an acai bowl, um, but I wanna watch Ray, so I'm just gonna point the camera at the bowl and y'all can watch. Getting ready to go to a Sol de Janeiro event, and I think I want to wear this pink shirt, these red leggings, and this skirt. Now I know it sounds crazy, but just just wait, wait. Like I have no time to be playing, and here I am trying to put on a, a quick eyebrow. Like girl, please, I didn't even put my clothes on. I have to be there in 15 minutes. I'm actually about to call my Uber right now. It's gonna force me to get ready fast because I don't make. I hate making Ubers wait on me. So I refuse to do it. Um, I will literally get in the car with my shoes in my hand. That's not true, I wouldn't do that, but ignore the TikTok. Okay, now I've, I've been managing time very badly lately. I don't know what that's about because I usually have the greatest time management. If I'm gonna need to be there, I'm gonna be there 20 minutes before everybody else. But lately I don't know what it's about and here I am wasting time again. Look at my house shoes, look at my house shoes. I don't know if I'm gonna be obsessed. Also these shoes hurt really bad the last time I wore them. So I don't know if it's super duper uber smart to wear them. I forgot I never wore these anywhere so I can put them on the floor, but. Ooh. Get up, get up here. Yeah, these boots are not comfortable. Like they hurt, which sucks cause they're cute. But I do have these, my good old reliables. Plus I think it matches the skirt better. Yeah, let's do that. These make me stand like this. Okay, or should I do black tights, red boots? I feel like this is more fun and playful, but I'm gonna try black tights, red boots. Okay, let's see if it's giving red boot. I feel like red tights might be what I liked more, but I'm not sure. Okay, wait, the red boots give. They give. Okay, now I need jewelry. Let me put on the jewelry and I'll be back. It's been quite some time. I put on nails and jewelry. I just noticed that was not in focus. Okay. And then we've got the nail. Mm -hmm. Amanda saved it. She picked it up. Mm -hmm. I had to do what I had to do. I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> and then watch how quick. Boom. Got to hold her and press her down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like she never fell off. It's li Whose nail fell off? I don't even know what you're it talking about. It definitely wasn't mine. Look at Amanda, and she's got the yellow shoes to match the cardigan. I'm not having a good day anymore, and I can't get my mentos open. Life on the floor is kind of fun. I just do this more often. I made the cutest vlog for y'all this morning. I did my hair, did my makeup all that cute stuff, and then I deleted it all on accident, trying to delete other footage off of my camera. You know why I'm irritated too? Because it was so avoidable. Had I just paid attention to what I was doing, I was running out of space on my camera, so I was trying to delete footage from the beginning of time in my camera. Deleted all the footage from today. So yeah, could have literally just avoided it had I paid. <laughs> anyway, um, here's my little gym fit. Well, it's not even the gym, it's the heated room. I don't know what that is though. And I'm gonna wear my new balances. Aren't they so cute? I love them. Why did I just do that extensive, super chaotic workout class and not break a sweat on my makeup? Like that whole room 
is hot as hell. The whole room is like super warm and humid. And you couldn't even tell I just did that. I'm sweating, but not really, to be honest. Like I kind of ate. It was a lot work. It was a lot of workout though. Definitely for somebody that's not used to it. I don't work out at all. I'm literally a lazy bum. So that was a lot for me for sure. But I think for like a regular person that's even the slightest bit athletic, you'd be fine. I think that just because I'm really not athletic at all, it was a bit excessive for me. I think if you're a regular girl, you'd be, you'd be cool. But it was fun. Go past the stop sign. Then at the next one, turn left. Oh, help. Help. Look at my head, OMG. They, the problem with pimples is they hurt. I don't even care that much when they're here visually, but they just hurt. And the problem is I don't know what's causing it. I don't know what's giving me the breakouts to stop it. I wanna try this again, the Fenty. It's supposed to be the like blemish defeater thing. Cause I got all these breakouts. I haven't used this in a minute though. I don't really remember if I know how. I'm just gonna pat it around the blemishes and hope that it works. Cause um, I would like it to. The big mama over here, she's, 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 she's crazy. I'm gonna try doing my old makeup, even though I said it's losing its sleigh, just cause, um, I don't know what to do, <laughs> since it's losing its sleigh. I do need to make my eyebrows thinner. I think I look better with a thinner brow than thicker. And my eyebrows are still not thick by any means, as you can see, but they are wider. And I think I look better when they're, when they're as thin as they can be. I think it opens up my face a lot more. Mm. I don't think that looks good. And then just add a few strokes here so it closes my eyes into my face a little more. Um, I feel like my eyes are pretty far apart, so I like to try to bring them in as much as I can. Doing eyeliner is the opposite of that. If you think your eyes are far apart, you should probably avoid wing liner. If you think your eyes are too small, you should probably avoid eyeliner altogether, but I just can't. I think my eyes are too big that when I don't wear eyeliner, they look like comically big. I need, I need, I need a buffer. <laughs> And my buffer is my eyeliner. See, I feel like that closed up the gap in my face a little already. Whoops. And I'm definitely... I forgot I had that blemish defeater there. Oh my gosh, and I'm literally flaking at it. Ooh, it was laid so well too. Okay, I think I've gotten off. That's just gonna have to stay there, the little bit that's there. Okay, okay. I feel like that's the best I'm gonna get it. Stop messing with it, John. Stop messing with it. Stop. Let me, let's just leave it there. I feel like that's a decent brow. They look a little closer, but you see what I'm saying? They're just too fluffy for my face, I think. I think I need a, a tamer brow. Um, I think maybe keeping the black liner off of my eye or the, the dark liner off of the center of my eye will maybe help with me looking a little summery because my dresses, either of the dresses that I'm wearing, they're both like flower dresses, they're very girly moments. And I think when I close up my eye with this eye look, it looks the opposite of girly and cute. I think I look a little more nightlife-y. So I think I'm just gonna do this to add dimension to the outer part of my eye and then leave it at that. Just leave the little bit in the corner and let that fade in and, and call that the eyes. Then mascara lips and we're out okay here's my makeup mm, i'm not obsessed but i'm not mad at it now we gotta try on the dresses and then we gotta go here are the dress options there's this gorgeous girl here but i fear i'm leaning toward this one so i'm gonna try them both on is it giving cutie and i'm trying not to add glasses to everything but come on like i'm so cute ooh, 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 ooh. gotta go guys see you there These are so good. <laughs> mm. oh! These things, it won't focus on them. They're right here. Mm. I've been tearing them up. In the past five minutes, I've eaten six. I bought two cases of them, maybe three or four days ago. I mean, you can tell, like the crystal. This is probably why my stomach's been hurting for the past <laughs> three days. That is delicious. That fake jelly. Mm, 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 mm. My towel bow came. <laughs> Let's open it. Okay, 
With Taobao, you have to like combine your orders. So it's usually like a giant box full of all your stuff. Oh, I think this is some pajamas I got. Oh wait, there's my bread box. <laughs> I got a bread box. Um, but I really bought it to put potatoes in because I hate looking at potatoes just sit on my counter because I always keep bread in the fridge anyway. Oh, now I'm wondering, can you even put potatoes in like an enclosed container like this? I have no idea. But bread box. It's got these like boobs in it. Um, we've got these little pajamas. That's gonna be so warm and cozy. Ooh, it feels like good material too. It's thicker than I was expecting. I was expecting it to just kind of be thin and cheap because it was cheap, so that's nice that it wasn't. Oh, I think this is like a cutie little um, set, but they're in Chinese sizes and I know Chinese sizes are super small comparatively. Oh, I thought I was buying a top and a bottom. I just bought the bottom, <laughs> but it is super thick. Can you see how thick that is? Very cute. I think I got a medium because I think Chinese medium is my, yeah, is my size. That's cute. I need to get the top though. <laughs> I think I just bought bottoms thinking I was buying full sets. But these are like good quality. Like this is thick. And I'm not surprised because, oh, because the last time I ordered from Taobao and I got clothes, it was the same thing. They were super thick and like good quality. Oh, there's stuff in these. I thought this was just like a space holder. <laughs> My Hello Kitty cup. Oh my gosh, I hate this styrofoam. It sticks everywhere. Look at it, Hello Kitty cup. Oh, I got this like stainless steel mixing bowl. I, don't know, I thought it was more than one. <laughs> I need to read the quantity of things. Girl, like, what's, what's in here? I also ordered like furniture. I ordered a nightstand and, ta and chairs. So, we gonna see. Oh my gosh, was all this needed? Damn. I don't really know much about Taobao to be honest. Um, I just saw like a couple TikToks about it. And I was like, you got me. They're Hello Kitty bowls. I think they're supposed to be Hello Kitty. Oh, never mind. I don't think they're Hello Kitty. Little, oh, okay, I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew I wasn't tripping. And there was Hello Kitty inside the other one. I just, oh, I got a new kettle. Cause mine, um, it started getting these weird marks on them. And I don't know what it's from. It seems like it's every time I use it, it makes a new mark, but it was pissing me off. So I just got a new one of a different material. So I'm hoping this one doesn't do that because it was driving me crazy. This one I think is more of like a ceramic looking versus mine right now. It feels kind of plasticky, not plastic, but not, it doesn't feel like great quality. See, this one feels, she seems like she'll be a little more up for the job. It's like this. Cutie, cutie kettle. Oh, I got these for Joni and I. I got us these little matching mugs and they have like little, they come with cute little lid. They're very cute. And I got one more box, this one's long. Don't really know what's in here, but um, we're gonna find out. Oh, my lamp! I got a lamp. Okay, it's a good little haul. Now I need a lamp. 